Look at part one for a description of the setup uh, and all the details uh, before you continue to look at this which is part two. It's now one and a half hour past midnight. I'm listening to the air spy uh, with the spy verter in front of it. And I'm now turning on and, and uh, the signal to noise ratio is as before. I haven't changed anything, so it shows zero on the scale. And I turn on antenna signal. And uh, a little more. Because I want to get the degradation by 3 decibels. That's about here. And that happens with an attenuation setting of uh, 8 decibels. And here is the SDR play. And I have weak antenna signals. And the signal to noise ratio is also now at zero, well, within half a dB. And I turn on the antenna signals. Things vary with time, this is with real signals, but maybe like that. Now I have a 3 dB loss of signal to noise ratio, and that is with 10 dB plus 3, that is 13 decibels. Here is the net aphedry. And it shows zero, and I turn up the antenna signals until I have a degradation here. This is something like this. And you can see I have impulse noise of some kind. This is the spectrum that goes into the radios. Strongest here on the medium wave is minus uh, 25 dBm on the peak. And the attenuation is 5 dB. Here is the HF plus dual. Uh, within half a dB from zero on the S meter on the signal to noise scale, the yellow trace. And I add antenna signals. And I'm not quite losing 3 dB, but uh, as you can see here, there are impulses, as you also saw on the net of theory. I think on the other units as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, I give it one more dB. And recently I had more than 3 dB degradation here. Things vary with time, of course. So, this could be the value I adapt. And that is zero and zero. I have added one dB more and things break down completely then. So I go back. So it is zero, zero here, but I have added 10 dB more signal on this other attenuator. Here is the HF plus discovery. Signal to noise ratio is plus two and a half dB because 
This is now a regular production unit, not no longer pre-production, and this one is two and a half dB better in sensitivity than the one I tested in the previous video. So I have to add the attenuation in front of it to be fair in the dynamic range testing. I have inserted a 3 dB attenuator and now I am close to zero within half a dB. Uh, and I turn on the antenna signal. And this is about the level I can put in the HF Plus Discovery, uh, keeping it within 3 dB uh, degradation for the desired signal. And the settings on the attenuator is 3 dB, but I have 10 dB extra uh, from here, so this I will write down as minus 7. And finally, here is the Perseus, and signal to noise ratio is 0. Um, I uh, switch on the strong signal. I don't lose quite as much as 3 dB, but this is the strongest signal I can produce. And I can see here the saturation indicator goes on occasionally. And of course this varies with time, but this is a very strong signal now. Degradation is up to 2 decibels. But I cannot make more power than this with this setup. So I write this as minus 11. Or, well, now it's 3 dB. Let's make it minus 10 so I don't make any uh, wild guesses. I have removed 16 decibels of attenuation in front of the RSP1 uh, and disabled the low noise amplifier. But the sensitivity is not good enough now. It is 5 dB or 4.5 dB uh, worse than the reference I have. The uh, noise figure of the Perseus is the reference as you can see in the previous video. So uh, I cannot do anything with the RSP1 uh, by changing the attenuators. So here is how the units compare at night. The attenuator setting and the Perseus is the reference zero. The Discovery is 3 dB below that. The HF Plus Dual is 10 dB below. And the Neta Fedri 15. The uh, Airspy Plus Spy Water minus 18. And the RSP 1 minus 23. And this is the dynamic range when attenuators are used in front of the units to make the noise figure at in front of that attenuator the same for all receivers. And uh, I have adjusted the uh, gain settings and the attenuator in order to get the best performance. It is now 6 o'clock the sun is still up, but not very high here. But further south from where the medium wave is coming, the sun is still shining on the ionosphere. Uh, I'm listening to the uh, RSP1 SDR play, and here you can see the signal to noise is at the reference level zero. And I turn on strong signals now from the antenna. 
this is too much. fine-tuning the attenuator. So, things are unstable because there is a strong station that is not always doing this interference. So, let's say this could be a reasonable I wait a little while. This is roughly where we have three decibels of degradation. And here is what goes into the radius. Peak search and marker. Uh, the strongest signal is about 12 megahertz and about minus 40 dBm. And there is nothing on the medium waves. And the attenuator setting is 18 dB. And now I'm running the Neta Fedri. And without the antenna signals, it shows zero as it should. And I turn on. Also here, signals are variable, so I turn down again, so I didn't change anything, these are the variations that come with varying signal levels. So let's say this is the level for the meta theory, and that is uh, 10 decibels. And here is the air spy spy verter combination, and it's half a dB below zero, so it's within good enough accuracy at zero. Then I turn on the strong the antenna signals. And wait for the Y. And also here we have occasional moments of interference. I haven't changed anything, I'm just leaving it running now. So this seems to be a reasonable level for, on the average, a 3 dB degradation. And that happens at an attenuator setting of 19 dB. And here is the HF Plus Dual. Uh, I have disconnected the three radios I have already measured these three because there is a risk that they could cause intermodulation that could reach the other radios that tolerate stronger signals. I did that also in the previous set of measurements as a precaution. I don't know if it is necessary. Anyway, here is the uh, signal to noise ratio and I'm turning up the signal from the antenna.
So this can be the point of 3 dB uh, loss. And that is at the attenuator setting of 2 dB. And here is the HF plus discovery. And here is the signal to noise ratio uh, with weak antenna signals. And I bring them up. And here we have a 3 dB loss of signal to noise ratio. And that is at uh, 1 dB attenuation. And I bring it to zero. And it's clear we have more than 3 dB loss now. Here is the Perseus and I bring up the antenna signals like that. You can see I had zero but now it is there is interference sometimes strong and you can see here I think that the AGC clip comes and then we have the interference. So, uh, but it doesn't have to or happen too often. So, I could say that this is on the average a 3 dB loss, perhaps. Well, I attenuate one more dB. And then it is seldomly a significant loss of signal to noise. Uh, this is at an attenuator setting of uh, 3 decibels. <laughs> and the signals are still very much the same. Maybe the medium wave is coming up just a little, but it's still weak. So the dominant interference is from short wave. Uh, the radius with these attenuator settings, for the parasols I had to increase by 10 dB from the other attenuator. Uh, so the comparison looks like this for daytime. And for night time, like that, it's the same numbers as here. So we can see that the ranking is roughly the same uh, with the Perseus as the winner, the Discovery not far away, and the HF Plus Dual also not far away. There is a difference at night because the Discovery is protected by the filter that removes the medium wave. Uh, and then the Neta Fedri compares similarly on day and night. And the Air Spy Spy Verter, I don't know why, but it differs a little bit more than the other ones. And the uh, uh, RSP1 uh, comes about 25 dB worse than the Perseus, which is still a pretty good receiver, because the Perseus is truly excellent.